Your day garage sale by phone. Buy, sell, or trade items you no longer need or want. Tune in to Swap Shop, Saturdays live at 5 p.m. Woodstock City Council keeps you informed on local municipal issues. Watch Gavel to Gavel coverage only on Rogers Television. Woodstock City Council Thursdays at 7 p.m. Local Matters on Rogers Television Woodstock. Welcome back. You've uh, tuned into the daytime show. We are here with George Tate, and we are uh, pondering one of the deep questions of life. Where did the computer come from? Well, we have moved ourselves up to between 1870 to 1960, and we've uh, been investigating some of the earlier inventions of computers. But what it's really coming down to is, through all of these inventions and these steps in computer making, we truly still don't have the foggiest clue as to who built the computer. No, it's, it's just gone so many ways. It's a so mystery. It's a mystery. I think it's it a conglomeration of many inventions, one on top of the other, and each right. one was refined a little more. Right, because you look at this and how complicated this is. I don't really understand a lot of this myself. And you if know, George doesn't understand it... And I've been studying it for 15 years. There you go. But what, what the end user or the people in Oxford County need to realize is the difference basically what's on board and what's integrated. Yes. Now when you buy a computer, most computers today actually have the modem. This is the Ethernet card for your high speed computer. They have it already built into the board. If I was to build this, and I am going to build this machine at my home and bring it in next week. Can we start building it now? Sure, we could start building it now. You, how fun is that? Well, we're thinking outside of the box right now. You see how easy that just goes in there like this? Very easy. Right. Well, this is actually inside that huge tower. It's okay. A, it's a adjusted to there. And, and you have the tower and yeah. the box, all right. right. And then you're going to just go in and it's a little more How long does it this. take to build a computer? Uh, a couple hours, if I had all the parts. What about for me? For you? A couple days, a couple weeks, a um, <laughs> couple months. <laughs> it depends what type of computer you're going to build. Oh, well, only the finest, George. Only the finest? <laughs> only the finest. Well, this is a P4 uh, motherboard here. Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, we're going to, we would just put the parts in like this. Okay, now we'll pretend it's inside it, okay? Okay, we're pretending. All right, so we're just going to throw them in like this. A little role playing here on the daytime show. Yeah, that's right. Actually, that Can one I help? Oh. Sure. Put your RAM in. This is the RAM. This is RAM. Yeah. Can I RAM random it? Random access <laughs> memory. Okay. Where do I RAM it? Where do I RAM the RAM? It can't go any other place but where Does it, it goes. Does it go here? Oh, it goes right here. Oh. See, tell me right that. There. I'm trying to shove the RAM where the mother or something goes. Mother, motherboard. This <laughs> is the motherboard, yeah. <laughs> and so the RAM just fits in easy like that. Now, a lot uh, of you times... You say easily. It huh? is easy okay. when it's attached, but okay. you can get it in. All right. I'm, I'm, okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, now you want to be very gentle with them because you see how that goes in there like this. Oh, so you didn't tell me you had to move the white well, thing. Well, and you know, they're all different too. Seriously. Like when you, every mother can go right different. next to it? Sure. Okay. That can take four sticks. Whoops. Okay, so we were saying that it would take you a couple hours. You right, that would take me a couple hours to actually throw it together. Now, do you love building your own computer? Uh, that's not my... Thanks? Enjoyment. Okay. My enjoyment is the software and what they can do. It's not really my enjoyment either, to be honest. You I know, because my hands are kind of awkward, and I get in there. I, I like um, my this wife to actually in. do it. Her hands are smaller, and she'll. Does she enjoy it? Yeah, she loves okay. to, to to build them. Now, George, it's I have to tell you, you didn't put this RAM in correctly. No, I'm not. We're not too worried about. It. I'll oh, do okay. it at home because it has to actually go on to the mu or into the box before we can actually build it. Oh, okay. And then the hard drive is okay. going to go in there. Okay. Where does the hard drive go? It goes into the actual tower and oh. sets and screws in. Okay. And then wires, IDE cables, will come out and attach to the board. Because now, is there an advantage to building your own computer, or isn't it better just to go and buy one? Um, if you were just using it for email mm -hmm. and games and things like that, just go buy one. Oh, I have one. What if you were just using it to do your online banking? Because we now know, because of my wizard here, that you should never do your online banking on the same computer that you play your games. That's right, because you cause a lot of trouble. I have learned all You would still just go and buy uh, a regular computer. If you were going to build a computer, you would want it, if you were doing some audio and video, mm -hmm. we don't want the sound card, like this here. We don't want that on board. It causes too much uh, interference and, and sound. 
you want to purchase a really good sound card. Okay. Now, if you're doing video, of course, we don't want the video to be on board. We want to buy a really good video card. Of course. Right. Right there to put on. Okay, and this is a really good video. No, th oh. these ones I just I've just actually bought okay. used parts to bring okay. in today because oh, um, with the electricity and things and how we're handling them, you wouldn't want to bring in a, a two thousand dollar video card and, no. and play with that. I no. have to keep it in the, in the electric bag. Now this is your power supply. This is what where it plugs into the wall. Okay. This is where it all starts. This is it right here. Yeah. This is your, the brain. No, this it's is the your heart. brain. Yeah, this would fill your no. heart. This is the heart. This is what. <laughs> okay. This, that's right. This, this is the heart. It pumps the juice through the motherboard. All and right. When you plug it in, and these wires are attached. The electricity leaves the power supply and moves its way through all these circuits on okay. here. Okay. You can see all the small circuits that are there. Very cool. Now, all built together, and of course your keyboard that and your keyboard. mouse, right? And all those things are always just go right onto the the board here. You see where it is right here? Yep. And it just plugs in like that. That's what it looks like when you're seeing the tower, but inside it's actually plugging to the motherboard. Cool. Right? And the keyboard. Okay. Now, the technology, let's talk about, I want to give a giveaway. Oh, we love giveaways. Yeah, this is a film I created. And the interesting part about it, if you can look on the front, that's light scribe technology that's just come out this year. Mm -hmm. And the light scribe technology is I have actually burned that with a laser directly Ooh. onto the disc at in-home. Very mm -hmm. cool. And Destination Jamaica, I'm guessing that you were in Jamaica and yeah. you took some filmage. Yeah. What's when it I, on? Um, it was my life in Jamaica from oh. 1985 to 1990, at the same time Bob Marley was coming up in the same area. Cool. Jamaicans see this and they uh, laugh because it, they call it the prehistoric Jamaica because oh. it's a part of Jamaica that m most people don't get to see. Wow. It's in the backwoods when I was a young kid. I've been to Jamaica a few times, Negril, Ocho Rios. It's about uh, 45 minutes from Negril on the south coast, which Beautiful. has been undiscovered. So. Very laid back. Yes. All uh, right, so if we want to give this away, uh, you had a question today, a question that you mm. thought would be intriguing. Oh, yeah, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Hmm. If you go to, let's say, go to um, HowStuffWorks.com and ask them, they'll tell you, and you call in and you tell us what you think came first and why, you Can will win this very cool video. George, always a pleasure. We look forward to having you back with your uh, newly built computer next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll bring back the tower and hopefully we can get Rogers to give us some internet connection so we can start to surf the net and show dip different places that we like to go. We will try. Viewers, we will be right back with some more daytime. This program is brought to you in part by the Children's Aid Society of Oxford County. Foster parents provide a safe and secure environment for a young life in transition. Will you open your heart and your home? Make a difference. Become a foster parent. This program is brought to you by Community Employment Services. Choosing a career for the first time or want to change career paths? Our one-on-one -on -one counseling programs are designed to assist you at every stage of your employment quest. Visit us online at cefwoodstock.org. Daytime is brought to you by Lowe's, your diamond store in Woodstock. Let Lowe's elegant new showroom be the backdrop of your next heirloom purchase. Lowe's, 501 Dundas Street in downtown Woodstock, across from City Hall. Visit us at yourdiamondstore.ca. I don't want you to think about it. So target, ball, and fire. Yelling for in the game of golf isn't a rule, oh, but it is a courtesy. Watch Teed Off Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Rogers Television London is recognized as the best in Canada, receiving three awards in Ottawa at this year's Impression Awards. Congratulations goes to producer Marilyn Buggy, winner of Best Talk Show for Daytime. Promotions team of Sandra Tom and Rob Hoover, winners of its standing promotional campaign for their promotion of the station's special 2005.